Hi there, meteorologist Pamela Gardner. It's going to be an active night tonight as we track some rain and thunderstorms and some loud boomers out there from time to time. And then we have some drier weather moving in for middle of this next week. Tuesday and Wednesday, top 10 weather days with warm temps, some dry overnights, cool overnights, and low humidity. Looking fantastic. Then it gets hot. Potential heat waves starting next weekend. We're talking highs in the 90s. Could even push the century mark in some spots. More about that in just a minute. Here's a satellite radar image. We have one line of some showers and storms moving towards the Boston area with another line back out to our west. And this is why in the hour by hour, we keep the rain potential in. Notice this line moves across Boston between 7 and 10 o'clock and pushes towards southeastern Massachusetts after midnight and towards the outer Cape just after the midnight hour. Another little wave of some storms move in overnight and by 6 a.m. in the morning or so, clearing things out. It will become quiet for that Monday morning commute if you are heading back to work. Prior to that, though, any storm that does push through tonight could produce gusty wind, 30 to 40 mile per hour range, uh, small hail, as well as brief heavy downpours and cloud to ground lightning. That would be the main threats here. Monday afternoon, mostly dry day, mostly sunny day. There's a cool pool of air that's going to linger across our area, and that could help to trigger an isolated shower or thunderstorm chance, though most of us should stay dry and temperatures a little bit cooler as we get more of a northwest breeze for Monday afternoon. Rainfall forecast total through tomorrow, if you are lucky enough to see a spot shower tomorrow, uh, could be just around half an inch of accumulation. Most of that rain, again, coming in tonight. Low temperatures overnight in the 60s. We still Stay warm, we stay muggy. The humidity slowly diminishes tomorrow. And afternoon highs in the 60s on the coast with some low to mid 70s farther inland and away from the coastline. Here's the pattern ahead a ridge of high pressure builds and builds, a dome of heat, and the jet stream is going to be very, very high. Ridging is what we call this. This is going to be all the way up through Canada, allowing this heat dome to build into New England. Hot temperatures for Friday into Saturday, Sunday, maybe even into Monday. Beyond that, 4th of July could also be pretty hot, too. But heat wave, we need three consecutive days of 90 degrees plus at Logan Airport. We may exceed 90 degrees by a lot. Potential could be 96 to 101 for the high. The last time it was a 100 in Boston was July 22nd of 2011. We hit 103 July 7th, 20. 10. Uh, we were the century mark there too. Most recent heat waves in Boston, we had one back July 19th through the 21st. And last year, also in June, May, we had three heat waves last year. July 21st through 26th back in 2016. So some numbers there, but here are the numbers we are all waiting for. The seven day forecast 76 for tomorrow, chance for spot showers and storms. Tuesday 80, Wednesday 82. We go down to 75 on Thursday as a cold front sweeps through. More storms chances. It gets humid and windy. Friday, the humidity cranks up. It gets hot, nearing 90. Saturday, 91. Sunday, 96.